phi dot value in that i will print the due else some error message so error messages are printed by using alert boxes okay what i will print in that alert box invalid amount something save it refresh okay now you see select any cast select any paid amount calculate so you are getting calculate for example what we will do i am selecting accounts he is selecting cash you see he has paid 1200 by mistake he has given one more zero something wrong amount he has entered because total fee is only 3500 if he is entering 12000 it is wrong if i click calculate now see invalid amount okay on seeing that okay i have done mistake he will remove zero and he will calculate you will get the amount so like this this is a small example for forms how you can take data and how you can compute the data this is a one more example in the forms okay and last example is validations how we'll do we validate one form now to validate the form we should use submit button not normal button still now we are taking normal buttons now we'll take submit button and we will do validation for that one so till now we are taking normal button there we'll take submit button button name something register so i will remove this event so whenever you are doing form validation we should write event in the form on submit is equal to something it will run okay first we will create form tr open tr close td open okay in that td username so to enter that username i am taking one text box input type is equal to text text box name you take any name t1 next tr open tr close td next password so to enter password we should take input type is equal to password only input type password name is equal to t2 next same thing for confirm password copy paste here confirm password for confirm password the name is t3 see username password confirm password next after confirm password i will take email address i'll take what email address copy paste instead of username i will change it to email id here you change name to t4 next after email id tr open tr close td text area multi line name t5 rows Five columns six or twenty. Okay, next so this is for address. Okay. Next one is list cities list city. to create see it cities list select type name t6 i am taking just one by one okay t1 t2 3 t4 t5 t6 t7 like that how many you have that many we'll create cities list now option first option is always a dummy option 
from second option onwards we need to create the city names i will just take three city names like that you can take any number see this is the form last mobile number last we will take what mobile number here t7 so this is the form without giving anything you should get errors that is called checking the form for errors form validation concept without giving anything in that now it should show errors so how it will show means for the form tag for the form tag we need to write the event call on submit in that we need to run one function validate function that validate function will be executed whenever i click that submit button but this function should return some value that's why i'm writing here return keyword what that function should return either true or false what that validate function should return now either true or false so when it will return true when everything is correct when it will return false when something is wrong it will return false so we'll do that here now see the total logic will be in that function now validate function function validate now if that everything is correct it should go to another page now that we will give in action in action we will give the next page success dot html i have not created that one just i will show whether it is navigating or not okay save it so action will be open when it is success or when everything is okay first we will take variables uid to take username form1 dot t1 dot value next variable pass to take password form1 dot t2 dot value to take password variable c pass to take confirm password form1 dot t3 dot value next variable email address form1 dot t4 dot value now to validate that email address we need at the rate position and dot position also that's why i am taking at pos means at the rate position how you can find at the rate position form1 how you will get at the rate position from email variable address we need to find out email dot index of so we have in string functions index of function what index at the rate index value you will find out okay like that only dot position also but in our email address ram dot 535 something something dot something something at the rate gmail dot com like that which dot is important for us first you take so many dots that are not required for us the last dot this is important for us so here what i would need to use means email dot last index of last index of function what is that index of function dot that means at red position dot position i am finding out okay because i will validate the email address by using that at the red position and dot position next variable add address form1 dot t5 dot value next variable city to store the city but city is not list sorry it is not text box list c1 dot already we have seen a selected index we need to use for list m number mobile number form1 dot here not c1 t6 here t7 like that i have taken total data now that total data we need to compare we need to check here one by one condition if uid dot string functions length function will be there na equal to equal to 0 means nothing he has given or uid is equal to just he has given space this is also wrong in the both cases what it will print it will print an error message alert to print other messages what it will print enter please enter username 
this message it will come return false i said whenever we are getting error compulsory we need to return false every time whenever you get error you return false okay if that is given correct it will go to else and check for next condition else if now here i will check for password pass dot length equal to equal to 0 or pass equal to empty so this is also what wrong case so here also what it will print next may enter password instead of username it will print enter password ok next next again else if next condition confirm password c pass dot length equal to equal to 0 or c pass equal to equal to empty please enter confirm password okay i am checking username password confirm password i have three i have checked now i should check whether password and confirm password are same or not so again else if password not equal to confirm password means both are not equal then that is also an error so here error message will be different so what is that error message both password should be same or password does not match so the error message is up to you whatever it will print that will come ok it is up to you next else if ok username password confirm password and both also same next check for email address email dot length equal to equal to 0 or email equal to empty so in this case also what i should print please enter email id again else if ok email address he has entered now whether he has given correct format or not how you will check means so at the rate if i give at the rate gmail.com is it correct no why at the rate is in the first position at the rate should not be in first position so at position less than one means it is in first position it is not correct case or dot position subtracts at position that length should not be less than or equal to less than or equal to 2 if it is less than or equal to 2 it should be 3 characters minimum if it is 2 that is also wrong then also what I will get here instead of enter invalid email id invalid email id because I have entered wrong email address ok next else if next is address add dot length equal to 0 or add is equal to empty means something is not given so here please enter address next is city else if if city equal to equal to 0 means he has not selected any city so please select any city so that is a message it will come please select any city next one mobile number else if m number dot length not equal to 10 means if he is give less than 10 or something he is not given anything that is wrong so here you will get invalid mobile number else 
it will return true finish save now we will run and see now i am not giving any data submitting the button enter username okay i will enter any username now i am not entering password enter password i will enter any password 1 2 3 4 5 6 i am not entering any pass confirm password enter confirm password now i will enter differently now both are not same now in this case we will get both password should be same okay i will enter now both in same 1 2 3 4 5 6 email address i am not entering you will get enter email id okay if i enter email address something then also you will get invalid email address that means if you enter correct format only it will take ram at the rate something gmail.com address i am not entering you will get enter address message okay i will enter some address i am not selecting city click please select any city and last one is if i don't give any mobile number invalid okay first select city i am not giving any mobile number invalid mobile number if i give only invalid mobile number if i give more digits invalid mobile number so i should give correctly 10 digits only then only it will come submit now it is going to the success page see success.html page so like this we are going to do the form validation concept